Richard White's uh, testimony, who is unable to be here. Richard's a, a teacher, a science teacher. He says, for the record, I testified for the SBOE public hearing in spring of 2009 and fielded questions or two for the board at that time. I am also qualified to teach any 8 through 12 science class in Texas. I was dismayed to learn that the publishers of science textbooks apparently believe that they can disagree, disregard the standards established by the Texas State Board of Education and its revised Texas Essential Knowledge and Skills and still sell their wares to us. In particular, I have learned that Kenneth Miller, the principal author of the Pearson Prentice Hall biology text, seems to have admitted in public that he has no intention of fulfilling the intent of the teach. Kudos to Dr. Miller, but honestly admit for honestly admitting this in public. But it seems his attitude is shared by nearly all the other authors and publishers. This is this Doubly, is doubly disturbing when one examines the teaks to which Miller and company object. What do they require that upsets them so? I won't reproduce it all here, but one will serve as an example. Biology C3A, in all which says, in all fields of science, analyze, evaluate, and critique scientific explanations by using empirical evidence, logical reasoning, and so on. He goes on, other, other texts which address specific topics are similarly worded, with phrase analyze and evaluate, appearing in each one of them. One would think that this is precisely what the authors and publishers of modern textbooks would want to encourage. The evidence, however, suggests otherwise. It is simply amazing to me that such redress to the texts which encourage the learning and exercise critical thinking skills, especially among those who undertake to produce textbooks, would have their way to fear students who learn to think for themselves. Okay. Thank you for reading on behalf of Mr. White. 